Welcome back, it's Chris from the Hagen Factory. So this week's video, we're back onto the Valiset 350 Hagen. How many times have you heard that? But uh, this is a great video, so let's have a look. So back on the 7th of January 2023, I said on our first video that we were going to put this bike together and it's taken that long. Um, it wasn't a build that was planned, but anyway, we'll talk about that a bit later. But we, uh, Sean first owned this bike at one stage, then it went to John Goodfellow, and then I advertised for another Hagen frame and John got in touch with me and said he had two, but we had to buy them both. So this was, the second bike. This wasn't going to be a build for us. It was going to be sold. So I started taking a few bits and pieces off it and started to strip it down. But because we uh, don't like selling too much stuff, it sort of took me a while to work out what we're going to do with it. And that, by that stage, the old man had decided he wanted a 350 Velo slider. So he started building an engine and he said, can you fit it? And I said, yep, I'll make it fit. Well, what a disaster that was. We've had a few failures on the way, but uh, we're there now. So this thing does run. Uh, it's fantastic. So we're still gonna do a little bit more work. I've got a bit of a leaky oil tap and uh, the cables and put a cable on the muffler so the muffler doesn't fly off and all that sort of stuff. But uh, we have got there. Uh, I hope you've been following it all the way through. But if you haven't, there's some great videos to watch. So in the back catalogue, it'd be really good. But uh, let's have a look around it. So at a first glance at this engine, you'll notice something different. So the push prod tube is completely different than usual. It's an Alan Strawn special, that one. It's got O-rings and all that sort of stuff, so it doesn't leak. And we've got the breather on here to help the little pressure out of the uh, crankcase there. And we've got the inlet manifold as well. Uh, he's done a fantastic job making all these parts up. Uh, as you can see, we've got the k and filter, got the muffler I made there, uh, we've got the gear stick straight out of the side of the box, so no linkage. Uh, got a bit of a leaky tap there, which we'll have to change. The thing that people have asked about is uh, this thing runs four levers. Uh, so we've got the front brake and a decompression lever there, and on this side we've got the clutch and the top one here, which is a Ballard's pivot assist, that's for the back brake, because we don't have a brake uh, brake pedal but we have the foot peg forward on this one to give us plenty of clearance down the side there so it gives us a lot of room uh, might be a bit confusing for the first couple of rides but I'm sure we'll come to grips with it All right, so today we'll just shorten a few bolts like these here and uh, just run around and make sure everything's tight we'll give it a cold start on the roll so you guys can see how easy it starts it's fantastic uh, the old man's done a great job, with the, always good with the new concentric carby, these things, they always seem to run really well. Uh, plenty of levers there, uh, for big. But uh, it's going to be a great thing. I think the next thing we'll have to do on this really is probably uh, upgrade the rear shocks, I'd say that'll let us down a bit. But uh, other than that, I can't wait to have a ride. We're going to take it out to a mate's airstrip and we'll get the drone out and i'll chase the old man down on this thing with the drone and uh, we might put a camera on the bike as well which we haven't done before so you guys can have a listen to it and see how it goes down the airstrip so uh let's get on with it
Friday, same as every other week. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody. Let's bring Hagen's back.